Welcome back to another Warzone video. And in this video, all we're gonna talk about is aim assist. And we're gonna show you the four different types of aim assist that Warzone gives you in order to be effective and to make sure you can gun down your opponents accurately. So if you're not familiar with aim assist, it's essentially a feature that most console games have in the first person shooting era and it allows them to target enemies easier as they're aiming down the sights. Some people think that consoles having aim assist is an unfair advantage because it does make targeting a little bit easier. We're going to run through all the different types of aim assist. If you didn't catch our last video on the best controller settings, we did mention that we were going to talk about aim assist. This is the video for that. If you haven't watched yet, make sure you bookmark it to watch at the end. Or if you want to go watch it now, we highly recommend checking out the best controller settings. But let's get into the aim assist right now. So the first setting is to disable aim assist completely. And we highly recommend you don't do this because it gives you no benefit to doing it. Unless you're used to playing without aim assist, then I recommend you disable it. But rather than that, do not use this option. Option. The second one is a standard and this is probably what your aim assist is on right now if you didn't touch it and this is the traditional aim slow down near a target that's going to give you a little bit of help. Third one is the precision. This is going to give a strong slowdown that only kicks in when aiming closer to the target and the last one being focusing. Uh, a strong aim slowdown that also kicks in narrowly missing a target so what we did is we jumped into a rumble game and we had each of these settings on we tried to target an enemy and then go left and right that way you can see the strength of how close it actually pulls towards the target when you're near it and we found this is the best demonstration to actually show you the strength of aim assist and what it actually does for you so the first aim assist that we're using is standard and if you notice we go left to right there's only a little pull towards the enemy which is a good thing and this is why we recommend that you actually stay on standard because if there's multiple enemies in front of you and you're trying to shoot one and then go to the next you don't want that pull because you're not going to be able to get over to the other enemy and if you've been playing call of duty you usually know the first person to aim down the sights is probably the first person that wins that gunfight so we want to be able to aim down as fast as possible and then be able to target the next enemy as fast as we possibly can so now we're going to pause the game in the middle of the rumble game and we're going to go to our next option which is precision and in case you forgot what precision is it's a strong aim slowdown that kicks in when aiming closer to a target best for accurate players so we're going to check this out right now again aim down the sights go left and right that way you're able to see the pull towards the player when you're aiming down the sights and in this clip you can see here i'm aiming down the sights and i'm closer to the target so it's almost like a magnet when i'm aiming down the sights and it was hard for me to pull left i know i do get shot here so the screen does change a different color but it essentially it's tough to look left tough to look left and i'm able to kill him easily so as you can see here when i'm aiming down the target it does give a stronger grip when i'm actually located on the target so again, this is more for advanced players if you only want that aim assist when you're actually on the target and not like an inch or two outside of the target like standard provides. So maybe you don't want to disable aim assist completely because standard is a little bit too strong for you. Precision would be your next best option. The last option that we're going to jump to is focusing. It's a strong aim slowdown that also kicks in when narrowly missing a target. Best for new to analog aiming. So if you're completely new to Warzone or you need help with aiming, focusing is going to help you hone in on those targets. Again, if you've been playing for a long time, we do not recommend you use focusing because what it's going to do is actually hurt you when you try to move from player to player. It's going to just stick to that one player. We recommend standard is the way to go. And we're going to show you some examples here of how focusing actually works. So as you can see, it grabs on as I'm a little bit outside of the target. So let us know what you guys think, because this is a feel thing. You, you got to really test each one out to see what is best for you. Again, what's best for me may not be best for you, but we do recommend standard as the game design, the aim assist to put you in the best possible position to kill enemies. So let us know what you think in the comment section below. We try to get to all the comments. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. We come out with videos every single week and we'll see you next time.